Hello, this is Mr. G's. And I'm Zombie Cat. Eater of brains, breaker of chains. Whatever. <laughs> this is our review of the Game of Thrones, or should I say the Dark Horse Deluxe Game of Thrones figures. And we're going to do three of them for this video. The first one up is Oberyn Martell. So there he is in the package. And there's a picture of him on the side. I really like the pictures on the side. Mm -hmm. There's a picture on the back of the figure and a little description. He's a, a younger Prince Dorn. He's also known as the Red Viper. I am the Viper. I vipe windows. Okay, let's open this guy up. And there he is, open up. And... I think, like usual, his clothes are really good. And his face is, I'd say, medium. They gave him some super beady little eyes. Yeah. Well, he does have kind of beady eyes. I don't like that, though. I think they could have done a little better on his beard. Although, looking at the picture there... He has kind of a scraggly beard. Yeah, it might be hard to paint his beard on, so... I don't get why they did his necklace like that. Well, you see in the picture in the background, you can see the chain going up around his neck. So why do they just have it yeah, you hanging can, out like that? It looks weird. It goes into indents in his chest. <laughs> it's just odd. I don't know. Yeah, they did, yeah, they did that really weird there. <laughs> but uh, I think they did a good job on his outfit. It's just sculpted on the bump part. They didn't sculpt the little spikies coming out. The little swords or whatever those are supposed to be. But it still looks fairly decent. I wonder if it's supposed to go into the back. Like where all these little light colored spots are. If so, they Seems didn't. Seems like it would. They didn't do it there. I like his billowy skirt. <laughs> do you like my skirt? It's for fancy. Yeah. And he was an interesting character for the short time that he was there. I wasn't sure what was going to happen when he fought the mountain. I thought he was going to win, but wasn't sure with that whole situation. It seemed like he was going to win all the way through and then he got a little too arrogant and cocky and that's what killed him. And he was pretty arrogant and cocky all the time. Yep. But for this figure, I think the shape of his face is good. Good enough. But I don't think they painted very well. Like They painted okay. It's not as bad as some of the figures, but I think it's alright. I think, I really think that his, his mustache and beard could have been better. Like, even though it is kind of a little bit scraggly, it just looks like he's got poop smeared on him. Yeah. That, that, that's what I mean. I don't, I don't like the way they did the beard. His hair's an odd color. Like, they made it, like, too dark. It looks like there's mold grown in it or something. It is weird looking. It looks like they made it black and then, like, smeared some brown over it. Mm, but what, there's like a light color at the front. It's almost like a light blue and it bangs. I don't know. It's weird. But, yeah, like usual, the outfit's pretty good. Mm-hmm. They got his belt here. This like, must be a thing in Game of Thrones, is the way they tie their little belt and they have it dangle down like that. It actually reminds me of uh, Latigo on a saddle. But you have no idea what it is, but that's okay. Somebody <laughs> might. <laughs> There's this little belt and gets all big in the back there. It's got some nice boots. They look like cowboy boots. Got a bunch of wrinkles in them. I like the way they did the base here. Looks pretty cool. Research. Nope. Oh, it's just yellow in there. What? <laughs> this up here. Mm. I was wondering if he had a crotch. He does not. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the skirts are so long you couldn't see up them if you wanted to. No. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to check. <laughs> Alright, well, let's move to the next one. And the next would be... Rob Stark. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> move over, we in. And there's this figure. This is one of the ones I was really waiting to get last, because I just... I don't know about something about Rob Stark. I just never really. It's not that I disliked them. I just didn't 
Turn the other sheet yeah, of them. <laughs> like, whatever. I mean, the Red Wedding was an awesome episode, but, I mean, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really like him. He's just kind of plain, boring. I don't know. Uh, there's a description on the back. Here's the picture on the side. Well, let's open this guy up. And there's Rob Stark. <coughs> this time, he had a full sword. Didn't separate the handle. He had to stick the whole sword into his hand. And like usual, they did a really nice job on these outfits. Like, look at the fucking what is, whatever that thing is. Some badger, a badger or, or something. <laughs> I don't know. It could be some kind of made-up animal. I don't know. But this Stark family armor, whatever you call this, looks really nice. We really like the way they painted in between these rectangle shapes. The armor looks really good. It really looks like metal that's worn. Been in battle. Really like that. Got nice boots. Wrinkles and details are in them pretty good. And his face is bad. Mm -hmm. For one, it's kind of blotchy. I don't know how well that you can see it on camera, but like, he's got a weird blotchy redness to his face. Yeah, I don't, that's weird. And his mouth is not shaped right. I don't know. Well, it look, almost looks like woman's lips, the way they painted them so bright. It looks like he's, like, making a kissy, pouty face. Yeah. I don't know. It looks weird to me. I don't think it's right. But, uh, well, he did a pretty good job on his hair, except that it almost looks like there's... Somebody took a hot glue gun and it's drew all over his head with little swirlies. It's kind of funny looking. He's got some... Fucking deep ears. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. What the hell happened there? Is the other one like that? Nope. The other one doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's a little bit deep, but not as bad as the other one. <laughs> that is weird. I would say that they did a little bit better job on his beard. At least it doesn't look quite as much like poo. Yeah. <laughs> so... No, this is an alright figure. I think this is... The body's good, but I don't like the head. It does kind of look like him. But... Uh. For this one, we have a Funko Legacy figure to compare. His face isn't very good either. No. And they did a pretty good job on the body, though. See, this one's got all these rivets all over it. How come This one don't have the rivets. I don't know if it should or not. But Yes. Oh, rivets. They just skipped out on the rivets on this one. Still looks good. Yeah. Now this one doesn't, I don't know if it's not supposed to, maybe this is from a different episode or something, but this does not have the shape of an animal on it at all. It's just like fur. I could be wrong, but I think he originally had the fur one and then got the stanky animal later. Oh, maybe. I could be wrong though. It's kind of funny, they're almost in the same pose, because I didn't pose him to look like him. He was just... He was already hard. like that. Yep. So, eh, eh, that figure's all right. I mean, I just I just don't care about this guy very much, so... Whatever. Yeah, I was never very fond of him. Okay, on to the last one. And the last one is Varys. Get the fuck out of the way. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> This guy was also known as the spider. He don't look like a fucking spider. No. Ooh, look at his boots. He got little pointy boots. <laughs> and he's also what the master of whispers, I think, is he's called. Yeah. Yeah, the master of whispers. He has an army of little birds, which I assume are just people, but according to a recent episode, it might just be all little kids. I don't know. I think they're beggar children. So all of his information comes from little kids. That's... I don't think all of it, <laughs> but that's whenever he says a little bird told me, that's what he means. There's a picture of the side. Good picture of him. Well, let's open him. Okay. So there's Varys. Or Varys. Or Varys. I don't Whatever. Know. I'm going to call him Varys. But they gave him a fancy robe. I did a really good job on it. I like it. It's not 
quite the same color as the picture, but I don't think that matters. Yeah, it's good enough. It does, like the pose he's doing, kind of makes him look like he's some kind of wise old kung fu master or something. <laughs> like, cross up. He's going to pull his arm out of his sleeve and bitch slap you. Yeah. Although he's a little, looks like he may be a little out of shape for doing some karate stuff, kung fu stuff. He'll still bitch slap you. Yeah. <laughs> But I think this is a pretty cool pose. Like, this is one of those characters that's like... That's how I picture him. But, yeah. But this is one of those characters where I'm saying, like... They're gonna make an action figure of that guy? Like, that guy? <laughs> <laughs> but, well, they're not really action figures. No, they're, they're statues. statues. <laughs> but still, he just... I mean, he's a big character, but just I just don't think of him as someone they'd make a toy of. Despite how important he is. Yeah, I th well, I think he's somewhat important. He's no, not I'm, completely that's what I mean. No, yeah. I'm saying he is important. Oh, well. I'm just saying he's not the type that I would think would be made into an action figure. Yeah, well, I was going to say that he just seems like the type that a lot of people wouldn't want him unless you're the type, type of person that wants all of the series. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you just picked and choose who you like, most people probably wouldn't care. Well, he makes me think of that, I forget his name, that really old dude on the council at King's Landing. Like the... He looks like a friar. He's an old man. Oh, I know who you're talking about. But, uh... That's like him. Like, he's... The, ma the maester. Yeah, he's important sometimes, but, like... It's, like, who would want an action figure of him? But he's he's been a big character in every season, pretty much, so... It makes more sense for <laughs> My him. My favorite scene with the maester is where you see him walking normal and then he starts pretending to shuffle again. Yeah. <laughs> And I really like when Tywin was like, stop the act. <laughs> like he knew he was just screwing around. <laughs> yeah, the face isn't... It's not I mean, perfect, no. but it's better than a lot of them. I'd say it's better than the other two here. It's just, it's a really good face. It just doesn't perfectly look like him. Actually, I think Oberyn looks more like Oberyn than this looks like Varus. Yeah, but his face looks shitty, even though it looks well, like yeah. him. This is a well done... His face looks really yeah. good, but doesn't really look like him. Yeah. Like, his... I think his his jowls aren't really shaped right, and for some reason they gave him a butt chin. And he doesn't have a butt chin, so yeah. I don't know why they did that. Yeah, you can even see in that picture there he doesn't have a butt chin. Yeah. <laughs> so, you have me calling it a butt chin now. That's his fault. He made me start saying that. I think lots of people call those butt chins. I don't know. But uh, look at his fancy boots. <laughs> I just want to. I never really looked at his boots or noticed his boots in the show, but it's got some. Look funny underneath looking. the stand. What? Look at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> boots. <laughs> okay. Are the other ones like that? No. Nope. I never noticed one being like that before. <laughs> That's odd. Well, they did a pretty good job on his designs. Like, they could have done better, but I think for an action figure like this, it, or a statue, whatever, it looks pretty good. And there's some texture all over his uh, outfit. Except for, like, here, there's no texture, but it's just painted. But I think they did a fairly good job on him. I do, too. I like him. So, here he is next to sort of like his rival in the first few seasons. Little Penis. <laughs> Peter Baelish. Dick fingers. Is that really the how the height difference? I didn't think they were. He was that much shorter than him. I don't. I don't think he's, he's little, isn't he? I don't know. I thought they were closer in height, but I don't know. Maybe not. I'd have to look it up. I thought Littlefinger was kind of little. Maybe I don't know. But there they are together. <laughs> I can't really think right now because we're so used to seeing him with freaking Tyrion that he looks yeah. tall all the time. <laughs> well, there's Tyrion. And this is one of my least favorite faces because he's... That's uh, awful. I, he's... Like, I'm not... I've sculpted some things before, not very often, but to me it seems like Tyrion would be... His type of face would be easy to sculpt because he has such defined features and somehow they didn't get this right. And that bothers me a lot. Yeah, it he just... looks completely wrong. And what do they do with his eyes? Does I... he even have pupils? I don't know. Yeah, they're very <laughs> tiny. He just he looks freaky. I don't get it. Yeah, that... I don't know what they did in this one's face. It's probably one of the worst to me. But the, the, there they are together. 
because they've been a, together a lot lately in the last few seasons, last couple of seasons. So this is the last of the Dark Horse Deluxe series that are out now, like not at least until the Night King comes out, but that's later in the year. There's also a Stannis Baratheon figure coming out later. One of the most exciting guys ever. Yeah, so if we do any more of these, they'll probably be One single shots, yeah. not not groups. We just got so many of them. Yeah. And this is pretty much has to do with the Funko Legacy series being cancelled. This made me think, well, I want to get these then, because they're not action figures, but they're still fairly decent. They look really good together, too. When you put a whole bunch of them together, they look good. And uh, out of these three, I'd say Oberyn is my favorite. Varys is my favorite. I think Varys is probably the they did the best on him. I just think just I don't know. I like Oberyn better, and they did okay on him. I didn't think. like him on the show. I thought he was kind of a dick. Oberyn? Yeah, he kind of was. But I liked it when he got into the fight and he was super awesome until he like got too coggy and got killed. The only thing I liked about him is that he was helping Tyrion. Yeah. Other than that, I thought he was kind of a cocky asshole. A little bit. Rob Stark, I just thought was boring. Like, yeah, he's just. Yeah. My favorite thing. My favorite thing about Rob Stark was his gigantic wolf, because he had the biggest wolf. Mhm. Mm that part where he walked up to Jamie Lannister when he was his prisoner was pretty cool. And then I do like Varys. He's like a very. Like I don't know what you call him, like subtle character maybe. Yeah. But I still like him. I like. I don't know what his motives ever are, but I just like the guy. I don't know. But as for the figures, I think the the Oberyn for me stands out more. Another part of the reason why I don't like his figures is because it's too much yellow. I don't like yellow. Oh, well, that might be. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what part of the reason it's standing out to me. <laughs> I don't like yellow. I really like Varys' figure because I think out of all of these figures, even though it doesn't look like him, I think they did a really good job on the face for looking like a human. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I like the uh, I like the way they did the what would you call it like brocade the big pattern on his. Yeah, they robe. did a pretty good job on that. Rob Stark's outfit's really good too. If you go like this, he looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> just just ignore that top part. Now I was kind of picking on how they made his hair look like glue wrapped all over it, but that kind of looks like it looks like, like the picture. Yeah, it does. They, they did a good job on the hair. Yeah, like it, it looks like how there is. <laughs> well, there's these figures, <laughs> and uh, once Night King comes up, we'll review him and also the Stannis Baratheon figure. So this is Mr. T and I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. My name is Jon Snow, and I'm one of the Watchers of the Wall. And the wall is made of a bunch of pictures of people I know, which is really freaking weird. Tywin Lannister, where is your man the mountain? I am here to make him pay for calling my sister a poopy butt. And also for wiping a booger on her sleeve. And also for eating her last Reese cup. My name is Oberon Montoya. Prepare to die. Oh damn it man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Ooh.